Hello Taurus, how are you guys doing today? Today's video is a tarot reading for April 2020 and it is about how you can be kind to yourself. Normally at the end of the month I like to put up an energy prediction for the coming month but the energy right now because of what's going on in the world is kind of chaotic and I really, I really didn't want to tap into that energy. I wanted to do something a little more uplifting and inspiring and positive, um, which is also why I wanted to film the video like this, because I, I wanted to really let you feel like you could connect with me. I wanted you to be able to see my face, see my eyes, you know, really feel the energy that I am bringing forth. So if you like this style of video, please let me know down in the comments below and I can make more like this. Um, so yeah, we're doing how can you be kind to yourself this coming month with all of the stuff happening in the world. I really just wanted to do something positive and uplifting and I would actually love it if you could help contribute to that. So please let me know down in the comments below something positive you see in your life. Um, you know, like community spirit, people coming together to help their neighbors, help those in need, um, donating food, just positive things you, you see around you um, or things that you are grateful for. Uh, let me let me know some positive things whatever you feel like sharing with us I would love to hear it and I'm sure the rest of the community would as well the more positive we can share the higher the vibration is going to be and you know it who's going to complain about being in a nice high vibe positive state okay so let's get started on how Taurus can be kind to themselves this coming month. So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know what those aspects of your natal chart are, please let me know down in the comments below and I can help you find that information. There are simple online calculators that you can use. So your first card is the Two of Cups. So this is making sure that you are taking time to connect with your loved ones, with your family members, with your friends, um, maybe reaching out to friends that you haven't talked to in a while, picking up the phone and calling your mom, your grandma, um, you know, really connecting with those that you care about and not only for their sake, but your, for your sake as well. And then we have the King of Swords. So this is telling me that you guys are going to have a lot of intellectual energy coming to you this month. So this could be um, you, this could, I, I'm almost sensing like this is you overthinking things, perhaps absorbing too much information. Um, so you might need to, you know, Maybe shut down the Twitter for a little bit. Shut down your Facebook. Um, I mean, not completely shut it down, but maybe, you know, a few hours before bed. Limit yourself to the exposure of that. Limit yourself to the exposure of the news. Um, and really ask yourself whether that information that you are taking in, if it's being beneficial to you, or if it is potentially hurting you in some way. Um, sometimes, you know, especially when we absorb fear, especially before bed, um, then it can be hard to sleep. And sleep is so restorative, we need sleep. So, you know, shut down a few hours before bed and, you know, just, or, you know, choose to watch something uplifting, funny, like maybe your favorite romantic comedy or something like that. Um, but just, you know, maybe stay away from social media or the news. Um, these cards are also very blue, which is making me think a throat chakra. So again, this is about communication. And I really feel like, especially with this Two of Cups here, this is you connecting with people. Um, I don't know if this is to benefit you. Like if you need to talk about things, um, perhaps you need to express your concerns, but also express your gratitude. Um, 
but this could also be that someone is needing you to reach out. So just keep that in mind. This is a trying time and we do need to have open communication. And, you know, if you're, say, you're at home because you're not able to work from home, um, which means maybe you don't have as long as the commute. So when you would normally be commuting, maybe it's a good time to pick up a phone and call a friend, call a loved one, um, and just check in, just say hi. Um, you know, just make sure you're not isolating yourself. I mean, so many governments are suggesting isolation and social distancing, um, but it's physical isolation. It doesn't mean you can't call someone. It doesn't mean you can't uh, video chat via like FaceTime or Zoom or whatever it might be. Um, you know, you can still connect with people. It just might be through a screen. Um, thank you. We have comfrey, which is repair. So again, I'm almost feeling like this is, it's almost time to repair relationships with the comfrey and the, the two of cups. I'm feeling like this is time to reach out again to that to someone that, you know, I, I, I have a feeling you probably know who it is. Um, it's someone that you're like, oh, I haven't talked to them in a while or I haven't seen them in a long time. Um, I wonder how they're doing. If you're wondering that, it's time to pick up the phone and call them. Um, it's time to text them, send them a message. And, um, you know, open those lines of communication. This doesn't even, you know, you don't even have to be talking about modern events. You can be reminiscing about the past, sharing funny stories. In fact, that sounds like a lovely idea. Like, call one of your, your childhood friends and be like, do you remember when? Just tell a fun story from your childhood. Or let us know down in the comments down below. That would be fun. Share a fun story from your childhood that you... You know, just a fun memory. That would be fun. <laughs> How many times am I going to say fun? So let's see. Any more messages for Taurus? For how they can be kind to themselves? Thank you. We have the turtle. Be joyful and trusting. And then you also got the wolf. And the wolf says, be independent, but work together. Okay, so those are our two cards there. Be independent, but work together and be joyful and trusting. It's interesting, those two cards in combination, they're very, um, like they just, it's, it, we've got the two here, which is about balance, right? So we've got the day and the night, we've got the water and the air, you know, the sea creature and the land creature. And it's like we need to have this this balance of, um, you know, even the wolf is in itself independent, but working together. The turtle joyful and trusting. So it's, you know, it's just this, this balance. Um, and maybe that, maybe you're feeling like this is out of balance. And that's what this repair card is speaking of. So this could also be... Um, if you look at this card, like this, um, this ray of light is kind of coming into their third eye. So this could be taking time for meditation, um, taking time to communicate with yourself about what you feel is working at the moment, what's not working, um, focusing on your gratitude, trusting yourself to do what is best for you in the moment. I mean, right now things are hard and we might not know where our next paycheck is coming from or if we're going to get sick. Um, but what we can do is we can trust ourselves to do the best we can with the circumstances we have right now. And so many of us are almost feeling, you know, kind of out of control, chaotic, and we need to, to repair that relationship with ourselves so this might not even be um, a relationship with someone else. This could be a relationship with yourself. 
focusing within and forgiving yourself for whatever you need to forgive yourself for. It's not always about being perfect. In fact, it should never be about being perfect. We can only be as good as we are with the information that we have right now. It is amazing how much we think we know, but really the amount of stuff that we don't know, that we don't know, is astronomical. So you need to, you know, where was that trust card? The turtle. The turtle was trust. Um, we need to enjoy the experiences that life is giving us and be trusting in the process. This could also be if you're working on a manifestation to trust the process even though things are getting a little darker at the moment. Trust that on the other side of this, things will work out. Okay, Taurus? Um, so that is my reading for you. Again, if you liked this style of, of me talking to the camera so that you can see me, um, let me know down in the comments down below. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I truly do. I love each and every single one of you. So that's it. I totally botched this outro. <laughs> uh, have a fantastic day, guys. Love, light, and happiness to all of you. <laughs>